I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces in Sydney and welcome to my cornea surgical video log of what is corneal transplantation. You might find it helpful to look at some of my other cornea surgical video logs. The cornea is at the front of the eye, the first lens of the eye, the most important lens, but sometimes it doesn't let light in and transplantation surgery is required to replace it. This works very well thanks to modern surgery, modern techniques, modern instrumentation and modern medicine but the news gets better. We don't have to replace the entire cornea. Diseases usually only affect part of it. We can now selectively replace parts of the cornea. And let me give you an example. Keratoconus is when the front part of the cornea is weak, degrading vision, causing blur. Simply put, we peel away the front part of the cornea and selectively replace it. And that's called stromal transplantation or MDALK commonly performed for keratoconus, and it allows rapid return of vision, a stronger eye, safer procedure, and gets rid of sight-threatening rejection. There are other conditions where the cells inside the cornea on the back surface are damaged, and in a similar manner we go into the eye, peel them away, and selectively replace them through keyhole surgery, fast recovery, rapid return of vision. That's called endothelial transplantation or DMEK, where the cells on the back of the cornea are replaced. These techniques, these modern techniques of transplantation surgery have allowed for a huge improvement in visual outcomes, both for stromal transplantation and endothelial transplantation. I hope this corneal surgical video log has helped your understanding of modern layered corneal transplantation. I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces in Sydney and thanks for watching.